Hello ladies and gentle frogs, my name is Epic B, you can call me Dan, welcome to the Moscow Throne Knife Spots. Now just quickly, we're going to hold off on camper spots for a bit, because this, as you can see in this spot, so you push back into this corner, you aim with this bit, and I'm on 95 field of view right now, so what I do is I move up until the top part of my tomahawk is touching this little cabinet to the left of me, but we're just going to show you, this is 95 field of view, this is 60 field of view, as you see the tomahawk slightly below, and this is a 120 field of view, so until we know what everyone's going to be like running around with knives at, like what's the meta for field of view. We are just gonna hold off on the Tomahawk camper spots just for a bit, but for this one, as you can see, takes off people who are coming right through this little alleyway and can also take out campers who camp there. But anyway, let's get on to the spots. It's just gonna be straight up SD spots, so apologies for that again. For the first one, you're gonna plant as far back as you can on that like long side of the bomb on A, then you're going to push back around to B, but push in between behind this trash can, look straight up above the A-bomb and throw, and you should get a really nice aerial kill. Uh, it it sh should be play of the game if like no one else gets more than a double kill, which is impossible, because I, I don't know why they take kill cams out of S&D, like it, it really, like the S&D has always been about kill cams, but that's another video for another day. For the second one, you are going to plant pretty much on the same spot. You're going to push onto the bomb, the other bomb site, and stand right in the middle. Doesn't really matter too much about this one, but you're just going to look straight up again, and you should get a really, really nice bank shot kill, where it's going to go right off the little divot on the roof, and that's going to propel it all the way to the side of the bomb and take out the diffuser. Also, let us know down below how you're enjoying Cold War. I personally think it's a step back in Call of Duty due to some of the issues the game has at the moment. I know it's only just came out, but they've had two years to do this game. But anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm ranting. So, onto the A-bomb for the last spot you're going to plant there. Then you're going to push back into this staircase and you should get a really nice kill. It's going to go right off the building and take out the diffuser. Now onto the B-bomb spots, first one you're going to plant on that short corner, this is probably the most effective one you're going to hit in the game. You're going to run back and then push into this corner, look straight up above, really high in the air and throw your tomahawk once you know the enemy is defusing and you should get a really nice kill. You've also got theatre mode in this one remember, so you can get these in theatre, probably won't be as nice as seeing this but you can always just play around see what works for you. For the final spot you're going to plant right here on the long side. Then you're going to run back into the enemy spawn and you'll see the corner you're going to get into. It's going to be the one just right up these stairs here to the right of us. So where we've got all these advertisements, just push into this corner, look straight up and once again throw your throwing knife and or tomahawk grabber and you should get a really nice game winning kill. So that's been it for this tomahawk tutorial. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Go and check out the throwing knife 101 video we did on the channel. It will be in the outro. We put it out yesterday just to say everything about this tomahawk if you're new to the game and you don't know thanks for watching and stay epic